When it comes to the Bible, it's not a matter of it either being written by God or written by people, as though the two are mutually exclusive. It's written by both, and that's the point. Hi, I'm Warren, the Rector here at St Columbus. Glad you could join me for my message of the day. Someone said to me the other day that they think the Bible is a human book written by people. And they meant by that, that therefore God isn't the author in any sense. It's not written by God in any sense. And to follow on, therefore the Bible is just one source amongst many for Christians to use to understand what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. But my question immediately then is, so what would a book written by God look like? That should help us see that it's a false opposition to say that it's either written by God or written by people. The Bible is written by both simultaneously without in any way compromising the human agent's work, or God's for that matter. The principle at work here is that God can be present in our lives, for example, without denying us our full capacity as human beings. When thinking of God and ourselves, it is best not to think of ourselves as like a container of water filled to the brim, but that to let God in, some of the fluid has to be drained off to leave some space for God, that God would then take up that empty space. That's not what it means to have God in our lives. That's not what it means for the Bible to be written by God or humans. It's not one or the other. Because that's a, a kind of competitor view of God and us. It, it, it's either one or the other. If it's us, then it's not God. If it's God, then it's not us. That's not what we're thinking in Christianity. God's not a competitor, competitor as though if we let God into our lives, we must give up some of our capacity as humans. That's why we can say that the authors of the Bible are the writers and God is as well. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.